number one graphically illustrate each of the following linear inequality square. I just draw it for you. Alright, so we see here to draw inequality, so we have 2y minus 3x is larger than 12. So to draw this, we need to know what is our y. Okay, because the graph is based on y is equal to what, right? So we arrange it, so 2y is larger than 12. So we bring to the right negative become positive 3x so here y is larger than so here i arrange it because we know that this one is a straight line right so straight line is y is equal to mx plus c so we arrange it in this way so we can get so this one 3x so this one is 3x so this one okay i just write first so this one is plus 12 and here y is equal to so we divide everything at the back with 2 we get 3 over 2x plus 12 divided by 2 okay just write it 3 over 2x plus 6 so this is our line right so to draw a line we need at least two points So here, when x is equal to 0, so I just substitute from here. So to make a line, we use equal equation. So y is equal to 3 over 2x plus 6. This one is to draw a line. Okay. So we see here 3 over 2x when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0 plus 6, which is equal to 6. So we get the first point. And when y is equal to 0, 3 over 2x plus 6 is equal to 0 right so 3 over 2x is equal to negative 6 so we bring this one x is equal to negative 12 3x is equal to negative uh, x is equal to negative 4 so here we get the point which is negative 4 and zero so now we have two points okay so we see here this one is larger than so it is a fixed line so we learned before right this one dotted line if large or small and fixed line is larger equal to in your mates mathematics okay now we have two points we can draw so before that we have to select our s and y what is the scale so scale so we see here uh, your x is negative 4 to 0 so here negative 4 to 0 so we see here x negative 4 up to 0 and your y is 0 to 6 right and your y is 0 to 6 so basically you see here y is more so so i had i think i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay so i have to make it this way right here so this one is negative 4 negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 0 1 2 this one is my x and then my y here so this one is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so i have 0 6 so here 0 6 is here and then I have 0, 6 and negative 4, 0 which is here. So when you have the, this one, you can make a straight line. So make sure you use, you are supposed to get a straight line, okay? Use ruler, don't be like me. So use ruler, make sure you get a straight line, don't I just sketch, roughly sketch it. Okay, now you get the line. So this one is y is equal to 3 over 2x plus 6. But you see the question 1, this one the one with inequalities and this is our inequalities so we see here larger than y is larger than larger means it's moving uh, towards up so we see here so we have two area so we see here if you make a straight line so we have two area either this area or this area so we see larger than means it's going up it's uh, showing towards upward dia macam tunjuk nak ke atas so up, so you see this one is going downward and this one is going upward so this is the range that we are talking about so we need to know which one up or down okay so facing up uh, so larger means facing up and smaller means facing down so you have to be very careful with the area okay
So B 6Y minus Y is larger than 12. So I wanted to do my Y right. So never mind. Just negative Y is larger than 12 minus 6X. So negative Y is larger than negative 6X plus 12. Right. But we wanted our Y to be positive. So when we wanted to Y to be positive, we divide with negative 1. Right. Divide with negative 1. The symbol will change. So this one is negative 6X divided by negative 1 plus 12 divided by negative 1. So here we get. Because this one we divide with negative 1, so we get y. So this one is 6x and 12 divided by negative 1 is negative 12. So here we have the this one, right? The inequalities. But then to draw the lines, we are using y is equal to 6x minus 12. So we need two points, like in A. So choose any two points. So we'll make sure that it is um, like relevant. I mean, not relevant. It, you can fit it in your graph. Okay, find two any two points which you can draw. Okay, so here we try when x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 6, 0 minus 12, which is equal to negative 12, right? When y is equal to, when y is equal to 0, so I have 6x minus 12, 6x is equal to 12, so x is equal to 12 divided by 6, so I have 2. So this one, the point is 0, negative 12, and here I get y is 0, right? 2, 0. So, 0, negative 12 and 2, 0. So, we see here negative 12. So, I wanted to draw 4, 4. So, this one... Oh God, this one is negative, right? So, never mind. 4, 4, 4. Okay, yeah. It's enough, right? And this one, x is 2, 0. So, basically, something like this. So, you have... 0, negative 12, if this one is negative 4, negative 8, sorry, this one is negative 12, and here you get 4, 8, right? And this one, I made it 2, 4, 6, so this one is negative 2, negative 4, so we see here, make sure you can plot at 0, negative 12, So 0, negative 12 is here and then I have 2, 0, 2, 0 is here. So then you make you connect these two by using a ruler straight line. Okay, so it's supposed to be a straight line. So you draw. So this is the line of this one y is equal to 6x minus 12. So to find the region, so you have to see your y. So y is smaller than. So smaller means facing down. So we see here we have two areas. You see here this one is area one, this one is area two. So we can see that this one is facing up. See here it's facing up. And this one is facing down. So the area is this one. Okay, this one, if you connect it, huh? This one. Okay. Seven y plus seven x minus forty nine is smaller than zero. So y is equal to oh my god, what is equal to? Y is smaller than so we bring everything to the right except y. So we have negative seven x minus plus forty nine. Right? You see here, ne positive become negative, negative become positive. Right? So this is our inequality. So to draw the line, we need to have two points. So y is equal to negative 7x plus 49. So here 7, you can see that it's like 7, right? So when, so you can take any two points. So here when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 49, right? When y is equal to 0, x is equal to so this one is 0, we get s is equal to, so just calculate, negative 7x plus 49 is equal to 0. 7x is equal to 49 and then x is equal to 49 divided by 7 is 7. So this one we have 0, 49 and this one we have 7, 0. So you see here on Y, you have positive, all the positive side. So just draw it. So the scale on Y are until 49. So just make 10, 10 each. 10, 20, 30, 40, 
50 right and then on x we have up until 7 so i'm going to make 2 4 6 so this one 6 and this one is 8 where 7 is in between right so 0 49 so 1 below so 1 below 50 is here and here is 7 so in between which is 5 so here in between 7 5 5 right so you connect the line make sure so you connect the line make sure it is straight using your ruler okay but this one is graphically so i just show you how to draw it so this one you see here this one the line is equal to y is equal to this one is 7 negative 7x plus 49 right Okay, and then you see here the area to shade to shade it. So you see it's below. Below is facing down. You see this graph. This way is facing up. This way is facing down. So since it's facing down, so this side. 